Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can see, I'm in a different part of the attic today. Um, the light was really bright from the window, so um, <laughs> looked a lot paler than I normally do. Um, so yeah, so I've just unboxed my box from the Crafty Creature and I've just uploaded that video and the occult box came. So this is the occult box for February and this one is the Ghoulish Night Inn um, and it also has um, some items from Hannah Horror and I'm going to list all that below as well. So yeah, so let's get into the box. So dead excited about this. So I've cut the cut the tape at the bottom. Oh gosh, nearly showed my address there. Cut the tape at the bottom um, just so that we can get into the box. So I'm excited. There actually, I think actually, yes there is. Um, also added in an extra little bag. It was the bat bag. And it was just little items that was in last month's box because I didn't get last month's. So I've now subscribed to this. So there's a little uh, occult box sticker here. I have more stickers than I know what to do with. Um, and then this says, A silhouette in the moonlight, rebirth of the night, dark, the dark, in darkness they echo, in twilight they take flight. Come to me, sweet familiar, let my voice guide you home. We're both safe once the sun sets and castles we shall roam and this is from um it's like a little postcard and i think this was actually in last month's box i'm not 100 percent sure but i think it was um but yeah so like i say this is my box here but i also got um a little extra and it's the bat bag oh wait a minute i should have showed you that little sticker so this is the bat bag. So let's have a wee look in this lovely striped. Oh, oh gosh, everything's fallen out. So the first thing that's fallen out here is, oh my god, it's a little pin. So if anyone's got this box last month, they'll have seen most of these things anyway. But um, yeah, so that's a little bat pin. See, I've got my bat um, blanket from the Spooky Box Club hanging up there. And then, what else is in here? Oh, I have a pen, bats about bats. So yeah, so that'd be perfect for my work actually. So I have the pen and the pencil to match bats about bats. I would probably say batty about bats, but then I'm just, <laughs> so what if I'm a little, <laughs> so what if I'm a little bit batty just as I said that? Um, and it's a sticker and it's got a little bat hanging upside down. Um, yeah, I love bats. Ooh, I like this. Bat attracting flower seeds. Um, and it's got a little bit of information. And a little sort of rhyme on there. So bat attracting flower seeds. definitely be planting them. And then we've got a little notebook here um, and well that's the same it's got the same as the the postcard it's got the same rhyme on the back of there so this is creature of the night on the front and inside it says carpe noctum um, sees the night and we've got some bats on the inside of the back page there so it's just a nice little plain paper note paper uh, notepad so that will go with either for drawing or sketching um, or just in my handbag well not my handbag but in my bag if I'm, if I'm using a bag not very often but if I'm using a bag pen and paper pen and paper then oh bat window sticker from the occult box so there's a bat window sticker so I love bats I just love bats um, Oh, that's the same. So I've got two of these. There's two, one's sort of like paper and one is in card. And I think that poem by Kyle Herbert. And what's this? This is the black, oh, this is the black amethyst. Um, and this is who has drawn the, the bat. So it's the same as the, where is it now? The sticker. 
it's got the same bat on it so I like that I really like that so she's designed that for the occult box does she actually work for the occult box no she doesn't she's got her own Etsy shop as well which I'll link below hello I'm Izzy I'm 24 I'm a mum with a little batty baby due in June I started my little shop in February 2020 after years of my mum trying to get me to sell my art my first prints were two bats called Boris and Betty so I find it fitting that I'm part of the cult box bat themed release this bat baby print is called Nessie please tag me in any photos of her in her new home here's to a spooky 2021 so yeah so that will go on my wall with my other prints I actually bring some prints here and put them up here and the final thing in the little bat bag is <laughs> it's actually a mirror um, but it's a bat I love that got quite a few of these mirrors now it's actually quite a decent way it's quite a heavy one yeah but I've got quite a lot of these little sort of um, handbag kind of purse shaped purse sized mirrors um, but you probably know if you've watched my channel before you'll know that I love vintage handbags so I'm getting to the point now that I may actually be able to have a separate individual um, mirror for each handbag that I have so many of these now but you can't go wrong with a little mirror so yeah so that was the back back print the bat postcards, the carpe, uh, the sorry, the creatures of the night carpe noctum note paper, or no notepad, the bats about bats pencil, the bats about bats pen, the little um, so what if I'm a little bit batty sticker, the bat seeds, but well bat attracting seeds, the little window sticker, I might actually put that in my car, and the little bat pin. So that was the bat bag. So we'll pop that on there. I can't remember how much I actually paid for that. It was very reasonable. Um, and I'm going to put, I'll put the price of that below as well. But now moving on to Ghoulish Night Inn. So this is the box for this month, which is here. And the very top, it says, self-care requires a little human sacrifice. And this is by Hannah Horror. Um, so she's a featured artist um, sort of collab for this month with the box so again I'll link all her details below and we've got the Baker's Twine which is black and white would it be any other colour? so yeah so we've got our black tissue paper here we go and we'll oh, fold that back oh so let's let's have a look and see what's on all in the box so <laughs> we have some bath salts um, and they're called Satan's Soak. So we have um, rose petals, bath salts and mis mystery crystal. Oh, so there must be... Oh, there's crystals in there. Oh my God, there's crystals in there. I keep thinking I see them in... It's the petals. But I can hear it. I can hear the crystal. I'm going to have to tip all that out and find a crystal, aren't I? Handmade. I can't really see what that says, but yeah, seat and soak. So yeah, this first thing for the ghoulish night in is obviously, you know, comfort and bath or a foot soak. Um, I don't have a bath, so it'll be a foot soak for me. Then we have um, wax melts. These are obviously um, sweet pumpkin. And these are sewing ones. So these are actually like um, sewing is in October the 31st. Um, oh my God. They've got little pumpkins. Tiny little pumpkins. They're little decorative pumpkins. But they are so freaking adorable. That is so cute. And they're little sort of star shapes as well. So yeah, that's like sort of sweet pumpkin spice kind of smell. So yeah, definitely cute like that oh my god I don't know what else to take out I don't know what to look at oh what's this come on ceramic gifts heat and scratch resistant the demon drink ceramic coaster 
and that's by Alchemy England. So it's like a ceramic tile. So it's a drinks coaster. And it's actually the devil's head. <laughs> I like that so I really like that. I don't believe in the devil. I really don't. I don't believe in hell either. Um, it's a Christian concept and I'm not Christian, so I don't believe in it. But yeah, a lot of people think if you're um, gothic in any way, if you're you know, into witchcraft and all different things that, you know, you, one, you're going to go to hell and you worship the devil and rubbish like that. And I don't believe in the devil, so I can't worship something I don't believe in. And I'm not scared of something I don't believe in. So I can't go to hell because I don't believe in it. So, yeah, that is cute. That's actually cute. And let's be honest, that's that's just something that's made up. It's a Hollywood thing, isn't it? Um, yeah, so that's brilliant so far. So obviously, ghoulish night in, you're going to have a little drink. You're going to have a nice relaxing bath soak or foot soak. Um, have your wax melts burning in the background for a nice smell. And oh my God, this is the second page. I love socks. Um, Mikel is the name of the brand. Super stretchy. Skull and crossbones. Skull and crossbones. Oh my God. This is the second pair of socks I've had this month. Um, I got a pair um, in Spooky Box Club and they're purple, purple and black. Can't go wrong with that. So yeah, so love my socks. Can't go wrong with a lovely comfy pair of socks. And it looks like they're, they don't have a seam either, which is really important to me because seams irritate me. So what else is in the box? Oh God, there's loads in here. Oh, what is this? This is... The Weeping Candle. So parties, great for parties and gathering. Black tapered dinner candles that bleed and ooze red wax blood. When it starts to burn, it drips red, producing a fantastic weeping blood effect. How ghoulish is that? Definitely ghoulish night in for those. That's actually really fun. Um, I will probably keep these for Halloween because that will be really good. And Rory's just come up and joined me, haven't you, Rory? So if you hear panting, it's not me, it's the dog. I can't open that. Oh, there we go. So I'm assuming they'll be black. So nothing much to see. So it looks like a black Babylonian candle. But obviously, want to smell it? It's not a stick. I was going to try and grab it and eat it there. And then obviously when you light it, there'll be red wax underneath and the red wax will just drip down the outside of it. But yeah, I like that. <laughs> That's so fun. That is definitely fun. I'm loving this box. I say that for all my boxes because I do love them. Oh, nice little red um, organza bag and a pair of dice inside with little skulls on them. So, there we go, little skulls. Fantastic. So two pairs, I don't know if that's ceramic or resin they're made of, but however. Divination dice. Roll your dice. And then obviously there's a list of whatever your number you roll, it'll tell you a little bit about that number. So we want to roll a nine because that's success. Definitely want that one. So yeah, so that's cute. I like that. That's a bit of fun. You know, some people take things like that very seriously, but, and, and some things deserve to be taken seriously, um, but that's just a bit of fun. I love jelly sweets love them. Vegan cola skulls. Fizzy gummy sweets. And they're in the shape of skulls. They're actually skulls. Um, they're overlapping here so you can't really see them very well but um, they're skulls. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy those. So it's definitely a ghoulish night in here. So Oh my goodness, I don't know what else is all in here. 
Oh, wow. Oh, that's two different things. There's two different things. So ghouls just want to have fun. A ghoul, good luck charm bracelet. And it's got a little skull on it. Look at that. So yeah, with these things, you're supposed to just tie them on. And then when they fall off, when, the ring, uh, when it snaps, then... Traditionally, this kind of thing was used, I think, as a sort of like a wishing bracelet. So you make your wish, whatever your intention is, whatever your wish is. Um, and then when it falls off, then it, it sort of comes true or your wish is fulfilled. So, yeah, so cute little bracelet. Just a bit of fun. And this is... Oh, wow! Oh, my goodness! I thought it was just a skull and crossbow. I keep saying crossbow, crossbones, skull and crossbones ring, but, oh no, don't say that, I'm not, started off green, which was good, come on, it's very cold, so it's a mood ring, the colour interpretates, um, whatever mood you're supposed to have, but it's just a chemical, it's a chemical reaction. So it's kind of got red, it's got different colours on it. Please go red, red. It starts off green there and it says green is calm, um, blue is upset and I'm not upset, I'm really happy. So I'm hoping that it goes red, not red, is that pink? Because pink is happy and I'm really happy. Oh, clearly it's telling me I'm upset, but I can guarantee you I'm not upset. But it's cute. It's just a little cute ring. And you've got your, your chart there. It tells you about your different... I used to love these when I was a kid. You used to get the fish and like a cracker and it was a little, little bit of cellophane and you put the fish on your hand and it curled up. Um, and then whatever way it curled told you whatever your fortune... Fortune teller fish, that's what it was. I'm sure everyone remembers those. Um, but yeah, this is cute. Because there's just loads in here. I'm having fun with this. I really am. So there's a nice big... The Demon's Drink Vegan Hot Chocolate Kit. <laughs> How cute is that? Oh my god. So yeah, so let's open this up. Oh my god! Oh, I love it! Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So we've got our vegan chocolate in here. So you would obviously melt that in your milk whatever kind of milk you're using soya milk coconut milk which i have in the fridge um regular milk if you drink regular milk um whatever kind of milk that you want to use your little um vegan marshmallows so obviously no gelatin in those um and then we have little sprinkles so what do we have in here ghost ghost sprinkles is that ghosts I'm trying to flatten them out and so I can see there's moons oh there's there is it's little ghosts I thought it was moons it's not it's little ghosts I'm trying to get it so that you'll be able to see it's like Casper the friendly ghost oh those are so adorable in the spooky box club we, we got um, sprinkles as well yeah, so we have a postcard next, and the postcard says, um, Never hide your magic. Magic is the truest art form. And then on the other side it says, VE Cosmetics. And it's got the triple goddess moon. So what is in here? Ooh. Oh my goodness little pair of tweezers with a little cat sass and bell i've actually seen these sass and bell it was probably i don't know if it was instagram or not probably was but i have seen those sass and bell um tweezers little cats on them and then we have a little pouch here um and it's got a bat on it and this is there's something in here no. Oh, there's a zip at the top as well. So we've got a zip on the front there and a zip on the top. Oh! Must... Let me see. Yeah. It's a little nail... 
says their manicure set. What a clown I am sometimes. So yeah, so we've got a little pair of scissors, a pair of nail clippers, a cuticle pusher and a file. So fantastic. That's cute. Nail file, nail clippers, nail scissors and cuticle pusher and nail cleaner. Cute. Like that. Can't get them to go back in the bag though. I might actually probably put the tweezers in there as well actually. Keep it all together. So that's cute. Cute little thing for in there. So remove the tissue paper. And we've got, oh this explains this. BE Cosmetics Relax Sweet Demon. Remove any makeup or paint. Prepare to receive a hydration boost. Crank up that stereo to 11 and relax. Gently unfold the mask and place on your face. Take a selfie and show us using the hashtag VE Cosmetics. Leave on for 10 to 20 minutes. Then remove, massage any excess residue into your skin. Careful now, Rory. And recycle the packaging. So, corpse paint, <laughs> face masks, self-care for the metal as fuck. <laughs> Sorry for the language. But yeah, so there we go. VE Cosmetics. So yeah, it's definitely um, a relaxing pamper. Definitely ghoulish night in, so. <laughs> Girls night in, keep out. And do not disturb, resting in peace. <laughs> so that's sweet. That is sweet. Maybe my definition of sweet is different from other people's, but um, yeah, that appeals to my sense of humour, I like that. It's actually embossed as well, so it's not just flats, and it's embossed. Then what do we have here? Dreams are fleeting, only nightmares last forever. And it says, thank you so much for purchasing some of my artwork and some more supporting small independent artists. Please enjoy 10% off your next order um, using the code thank you at the checkout. Feel free to review your order and follow us on social media. We'd love to see some spooky posts of your orders. Stay spooky, Hannah Horror. And I will link, she's got an Etsy store and an Instagram page, um, which I will link below. So a lot of the artwork has actually come from Hannah's Horror. Um, I like that, I do like that. So here's the artwork coming. So, let's see. And this is the last item in the box. Oh, no. The last two items in the box, actually. So this is by Hannah Horror and that's the artwork in here so it might not appeal to everyone it's quite dark kind of artwork but yeah that's good and then we have this the occult box puzzles coloring pages and mindfulness so we have word search start we have crossword, colour and page from all your different symbols there. Ghouls just want to have fun. Anagram puzzle, um, a colour and page, word search, search, find your way out the maze. Um, if you've got it, haunt it and your answer's on the back. So yeah, so just a little bit of fun, fun little sort of um, spooky, bo spooky book of things to do when you're bored to death. So yeah, so got this in here. We've got the lovely print here. Not everyone's definition of lovely, I appreciate that. Um, we have our um, self-care requires a little human sacrifice. Um, then just this one. Dreams are fleeting, only nightmares last forever. The keep out and rest in peace do not disturb sign for your door. The V Cosmetics um, card and face mask, face pack. Then we have the um, mood ring, the skull and crossbone mood ring, the little bracelet with a little ghoul on it, um, the socks with the cross, skull and crossbone, said it right there. Um, what else did we get? Oh gosh, the manicure kit, 
got a lovely little bat on it and the tweezers as well that are in there we've got the hot chocolate box the weeping candles I'm not going to be able to hold all this up am I um, hang it on there oh we lost a little ghosty sprinkles these little cola flavoured skulls the satan soak bath soak or fruit soak the divination dice I I'm really not going to be able to hold all this the wax melts and the coaster with the demon drink on it so that is all the items in this box so loads going on here um, I'm going to put them all back in this box before I drop it all so yeah so there's definitely three items in here and um, pampering things and um, some jewellery some cosy socks the hot chocolate um, yeah definitely a ghoulish night in um, because obviously it's about pampering um, if you're on a little bit of a dark ghoulish side um, just up my street I love it I absolutely love this box next month's theme is witch so this one is a one-off box although it's part of the monthly subscription I just bought it as a one-off box which you can do you can go on our website um, and you can buy, sign up to the monthly subscriptions um, but if you don't want to do that and dip in and out you can just pick pick your box whatever the box theme is that month and you can order it um, and she always tells you what the theme is going to be for the following month and then you've got a choice whether you want to sign up but she's very good because she says you know if you want to cancel anytime there's not an issue just email and say you want to cancel it um yeah i just think it's a fab box it's such a fun box and um, to me it's fun it's, it's up my right up my alley um it's fun to me um made me smile it really makes me smile makes me happy so that was the um ghoulish night inbox and as i say i also got a little extra um oh gosh knocking the camera it's not the dog that's doing it, it's me um the little bat bag as well so that was an additional purchase that i got to go along with that so yeah so that's my box from the occult box um love it really fun um, and it is, it's just a bit of fun. People think when they hear a cult, they think, oh gosh, devil worshipping and all that nonsense. It's just a bit of fun. Light-hearted fun. Um, it makes me smile. It brings joy to my little black heart. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, thank you. Bye.